We have had all sorts of mid-range TVs in the workroom in the last month. The Samsung TU8 is super fast, it's physically pleasing and it feels great to use. And it's more affordable than last year 8 series. So where is the hidden cat with a catch? We know that its Samsung 8 series have 4K design smart TVs, so basically the best affordable HDR TV with Netflix from Samsung. And some you may know I reviewed a lot of mid-range TVs in last years, so it's easy to see that this one is quite an upgrade in terms of design, but given that the Samsung has discontinued 6 series in the recent years and turned it into 7 series, the TU85 series are more comparable with last year RU74 series in terms of picture quality performance. I performed hands-on the emulation of 55-inch 55TU 8500, but this review also applies to the other screen sizes in the TU8 series. Give me my chip. What's this? It's a chip. They have near identical edge LED screen and should provide very similar picture quality. The VA edge LED screen can produce very good contrast in the dark room, but it isn't perfect if you want best colors in the very white room. Alright, so this is gonna be fun today, let's open this up! The shipping materials are really entertaining, I like this type of phone, it's that super firm, that's meaning good safe transport. So we're gonna dump this, here is a little bag full of sweets with remote, look at that stand by me. Oh, interesting, that kind looks smaller than what I expected, it looks like they got a little more minimalistic design. Aha! Uh -huh. Here is another part of the stand. Let's check out this candy package. It's got very nice battery, remote, screws, and here we have some very delicious manual instructions as you would expect. Oh, look at that! The Tu85 has a new look, with slimmer bezels less than inch wide which is unimproven over last year's model and the textured black colors looks nice. The Apache black stand is made from metal and plastic, so it's sturdy enough and also has a very good design to hide cables. If we look from the side it looks thin and like many modern mid-range TVs and you still need to connect media cables on the right side. On the back of TV set you're gonna find many, many inputs. I like it, he's a really nice face. In addition to two USB and three HDMI connections, you also have component and composite video, optical, audio, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So if you want to connect analog headphones, you will have a problem. So you will need to buy optical to analog adapter because there is no built-in analog headphone input. If you by any chance have a wall at home, the 285 has a strange wall mount design, so if you choose to mount the TV, you will need to buy a special wall mount kit. Luckily assembling the stand does not take too much time. You are going to need to install these few screws into the stand and the back of the TV. In the last few years the remote did not change a lot, it still looks nice, it feels solid, the keys are well built and responsive, maybe it could have two more buttons for multimedia like back and forward or tuner numbers for DVB tuner, but it looks like Samsung thinks that average user doesn't need these buttons anymore because they are obsolete. I'm 63 years old. I don't drive fast. So they replace all with just one button for quick access to one screen keyboard and this is the true smart minimalistic future. Luckily you can still buy a classic or universal Samsung remote with numbers. There is only one button located in the center of the TV under the Samsung logo 
You can easily control power, channels, volume and inputs. The TU-8 uses the Zen 5.5 Smart TV system. The installation process is very simple, you only need to choose your language, Wi-Fi and start automatic search for channels. You can control TV with remote or via smartphone app. The welcome screen gives you a speedy entry to the popular and important apps and TV settings. The Samsung on screen user interface is easy to navigate and offer a custom row of icons at the bottom of the screen. The apps work fast and you will really have impression that you are waiting too long something to load. The Samsung Tizen OS features all important apps that you would expect to be on Smart TV. It offers the Netflix, FastWet browser, YouTube and other important apps. Now, it's not secret that the collection of apps is still limited in comparison with Android TV, especially if you want better looking 3D games. Now, let's take a closer look at the famous apps, if you want to get best out of 4K. Netflix and YouTube works great. Beatrizer. And all settings are easy accessible. Believe it or not, in the last year 7 and 8 series has one gentle flaw and that is lack of XVID support for movies on USB drive. So I hope they will change that this year, but nope, it's still the same, but at least newer movie formats like X264 still works. Otherwise the built-in player is one of the fastest and offers good support for subtitles and has a lot of customization options. The TU85 uses an edge LED backlight with a semi-gloss VA panel, so you can expect good contrast and an excellent black uniformity in the dark room. But in comparison with IPS screens, it still has a limited viewing angle in the bright room. Out of the box accuracy has been improved in comparison with the last year RU series. You have many options to calibrate the screen. I really like the motion on Samsung TVs, and you can select these various motion options, which will reduce motion blur. But if you want a quick solution for the best picture, then you only need to select natural picture profile. If you select movie mode, you can see that the picture has darkened slightly and this is the best quick profile for the dimly lit room. So the motion image processing looks smooth because it has a very good processor that gives up up to 240Hz refresh rate and has great game mode with lower input lag below 20 milliseconds, which is excellent if you plan to connect PC or PlayStation. I appreciate that TU85 contrast is strong and has pretty good color accuracy. The HDR reproduction in the bright room is ok, but its screen brightness is sadly little lower, especially compared to the last year RU series. It is below 350 nits, nevertheless HDR effect in dimly lit room looks stunning. The 4K picture quality is excellent and the HDR channels show up well when upscaling standard definition whenever from tuner or web. The TU85 has standard Samsung speakers on each side below the display. You're looking at 10 watts each to give you a louder sound than you would expect to get out typical built-in TV speakers. I 
I would say audio quality is very good, but not amazing. Its mid and high tones are clear. The bass is fine and much better than on the 7 series. But it could be still noticeably improved with any soundbar with subwoofer. If you care about room decoration, you have a special button on the remote, which will activate ambient mode. This app camouflages black screen and can act like an art frame. It will show everything from photos, music to news. I found a web browser very powerful news, and it has very responsive web engine for quick page loading. The on-screen keyboard is intuitive and saves your time with smart lateral suggestions. But if you want more precision, you can still connect the wireless mouse and keyboard. News! I didn't understand that. What didn't you understand? The Samsung 285 is a fast 4K TV, offering acceptable value for its price tag. Now, one of first you're gonna notice is this has a very good contrast and has great black levels in the dark room. The new thinner bezels are freaking nice and it does contribute to the coolness element. Of course, as I mentioned before, it could have more USB movie formats, apps or games, but if you want fast and responsive TV with low input lag, Netflix and YouTube, it is still better than many Android TVs and you can still connect PlayStation or phone for battle results. It is easy to see Samsung TU85000 as one of best to prove its quality, if you need simple and fast 4K smart TV. So thanks for watching guys. I will be spending probably the next couple of weeks testing this TV. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave comment below. If you are interested in learning more about this TV, check out TouchWatcher TU85 Design video.